Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review, and today we're excited to check it out. Jack Straws from Parker Brothers. This is for ages 6 to 12 years old, so everyone older than that, get the hell out of here. Uh, it's for two or more players. It'll take, I don't know, about 15 to 20 minutes to play. And in Jack Straws, this is a game where you can take a whole bunch of odd things, like gardening equipment and hammers and guns for some reason, uh, and you're going to drop these plastic pieces onto the table, then you're going to take this little metal hook and try to get the plastic pieces into your score pile so you can get points. And different shapes will score you more points for some reason. I'm not sure if they're harder to get or easier to get. They don't seem that different. Uh, it's a very old school game, probably from, I don't know, maybe the 50s, 60s, 70s. But it's a hold up to the stand up test of time. Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Jack Straw. So, first and foremost, we have our handy dandy back of the box, uh, which will go over the rules. And uh, it's short, concise, sweet, to the point, should have you up and running in no time at all. And I can also teach you how to play right now. So, inside of Jack Straws, you're going to get a whole bunch of random little things that look like this. And you're also going to get a little apparatus, which will be used, can you see it? There it is. Uh, to pick up the pieces, which is just a little wire. It actually should have a little red end to it, but I don't have that piece, but still, you can see exactly what you're doing. And on your turn, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this whole huge stack of things as best you can, because let's be honest, it's gonna be really difficult, even though it tells you to do it. And you're gonna drop it, like that. So you drop it like that, and now what you're going to do is you're going to try to get away as many pieces as you can with this thing in order uh, to score points. And you score points based on the shape that you have. So two points for these, fives for these, and tens for these. Uh, and these ones, I guess, are substantially more difficult. Not quite sure. But anywho, uh, if you're lucky enough, some of them will not fall anywhere near the rest of the pile, which means you can use a little hook and you can just grab those no problem. But the catch is if you move any other pieces, then your turn is over. So that goes into my score pile. Uh, this one, bam, would go into my score pile. I can get this one right here. Bam, into my score pile. Let's get frisky and try and get this sword right here. So pull it up, make sure nothing else moves. Ah, it's getting caught on the foul. Yep, I just moved something else. And so now it'd be somebody else's turn. So they would just Bam, drop it like that, and then they'd be going for maybe this gun right here. Go for a little gun. Let's see if we can get that nice and sneaky. No, nope, we moved something, and that's our turn's over. Man, that was a fun turn. Let's do it again. Here, this one's all the way over there, and we got that one. Actually, I'm pretty sure we moved that, so... Yeah, there we go. That, now we're looking. Ah, it's getting caught on the felt table. Uh, anywho, you're going to continue to do that until all these pieces are gone. Once you've done that, you'll take a look at the scoring. You'll see how much you've scored, and whoever's the most will be the winner of Jack Straws. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Alrighty then, Jack Straws from Parker Brothers. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the pro side, the game is easy to learn, easy to teach, uh, does not say it's welcome. It's a relatively small box, even though the box could and should be smaller. It has a custom box insert, which is nice. They put forth effort on the components, and it does show the little uh, plastic pieces are actually really uh, intricate and well done, and they look good. They look good, especially for how old this game is. It's a very light game, which means it's not going to scare away, you know, grandma or anybody who's a non-gamer, because it's literally just taking the little metal thing and just trying to get the pieces up, which is okay. And... That's all I got. Moving on to the cons. Jack Straws is not a particularly good game. Uh, so just at surface level, this is a game that you can tell was designed a very long time ago because it is just very simple. Drop pieces, then try to get the pieces out without moving other pieces. That's the entire game. So there's no real strategy at all except for drop better so things scatter around the outside because the ones that fall around the outside are kind of like free points and have a steady hand, which brings me to another comment I have in this game, is that if someone's really good at this game, they're probably going to crush everyone else, because once you get a piece, and I don't think I mentioned this middle part, if you get a piece, then you get to keep going until you move another piece. I guess I kind of did with the example. Uh, so that means if someone's good at the game, and we did have one kid in the class who was really good at this, they crushed. They crushed. I played it three times with them, and they crushed every single time. And I think there were two other kids... Uh, playing each time so we played with like nine different people somewhere around that and actually it was somewhere around that and she absolutely just dominated just dominated everybody so this game is definitely well that's yeah so there there's an issue there also the biggest comment of the game is just not fun 
Like, nobody had fun with the game. Even the girl that was doing really well was honest enough. And I was like, and I was after this game, I was like, she, you like the game? And she's like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, would you have liked the game if you were losing? And she's like, yeah, it's not as fun as some of the other games we play. I was like, okay. And I started listing off, like, 20 games. And I was just like, because I was up up with my gaming shelf that I had in my room. And I was like, what about this? And that, this, that. And I was like, no, no, no. I was like, okay, so it's not that good of a game. And she's like, well... Yeah, it's not that much fun. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's not. And all the other kids, they pretty much didn't like it. The ones who were getting crushed, they didn't have fun with it either. The, the girl that was crushing thought she was having fun just because she was crushing. And crushing is fun. But still, it's just not a fun game. It's just repetitive. You do the same thing over and over again. And the most exciting part of it is normally just anticlimactic because it's like, oh, that rake moved as teeny tiny middle seed. Some really small increment of units centimeter maybe like half of a centimeter i don't know it moved a little tiny bit so now it's the next turn and it's just and most of the game is just going to be collecting the pieces that come around the outside to be honest with you i would say in a typical game let's say i don't know how many pieces there are they said it's on the box at least 45 jack straws included i would say probably a solid 30 to 35 of those pieces that you score are going to be just because they fell to the outside which yeah yeah in the end jack straws is just not a game i can recommend i think it's a bad game uh i think maybe when it came out it would have been a slightly mediocre game because back then they didn't have nearly as many choices as we did and advancements and mechanisms and uh you know components and stuff like that but in the end, Jack Straws is not one I can recommend to anybody. It's not worth searching down. It's not worth really playing. And I have no desire to ever play it again. And nor will I ever play it again because it is immediately getting out of my collection. But that is Jack Straws from Parker Brothers. A game that has not aged well. But even if it would have aged well, it's still a pretty mediocre to bad game. If you enjoyed this review, please try to click on that subscribe button down below. If you want to support the channel, click on the Amazon show notes down below, or the Amazon link down in the show notes down below. Buy anything on Amazon. It throws a couple pennies my way. It really does help support the channel. And in the comments below, let me know what is the game that you can think of from, came out before 1990, that has aged very well. Wow, that is a really hard question. I'm going to go with Stratego. I think Stratego has aged exceptionally well. So that is my answer, Stratego. But let me know in the comments below, what is a game came out before the 1990s that you think has aged very well? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.